Hi, it's Mike Searles, the Comeback Coach and founder of Serenity Life Hub. Welcome to this episode of the Comeback Podcast, where we aim to help more than 100,000 people come back from setbacks to a life with more serenity and less stress. If you're currently in the middle of an adversity, a setback of some kind, one that has you suffering with a troubled mind, then today's podcast is meant especially for you. Here's the story. This morning I was having a chat online with somebody. She made one of those statements which can stop you in your tracks, a sentence which turned out to be the precursor for this podcast episode. Here's what she said, quote, most don't know what serenity looks like outside of Hollywood's representation, end quote. Now, stay with me for the next few minutes because as important as that sentence is, it's not the one that caught my attention the most. It was this one, quote, I've discovered something, one small step at a time. For instance, I've recently reintroduced myself to chess and have discovered serenity in 64 squares, end quote. It would be way too easy to skip past that sentence as if there's nothing there to think on. But I find there's plenty there to think about in the context of coming out of a setback towards serenity. Here's what I mean. First off, my friend mentions one small step at a time. Reminds me of American pop and R&B singer Jordan Sparks when she released a popular single in 2008 titled One Step at a Time. Why not visit the YouTube link I've posted in the description of this podcast to listen again to the words of her song, which includes these few words. Quote, we live and we learn to take one step at a time. Unquote. Then there's the motto of Alcoholics Anonymous, one day at a time which for members of AA can also be phrased as just for today. What it means is exactly what you'd think it might mean. Members on a path to getting and remaining sober don't have to fret over a commitment of forever. Rather, only stay sober today, just for today, one step at a time. Approaching the intent of something like sobriety or any major intention just for today is easier than getting your head around the idea of doing it forever. Your setback or situation may have nothing to do with addiction or even health. It could be about finances, I don't know, or a relationship or business. Whatever you're going through right now, please permit me to share quickly my own little story of one day attending an AA meeting. I was three weeks without a drink, and frankly, I was doing it tough. When at the AA meeting I was attending on this particular day, the first person invited to give his testimony to the group stood up and announced that he was nine months sober to the day. Well, I sat and froze on the spot. Nine months, I thought. It's taken all my might to get to three weeks. The thought of going nine full months without a drink not only seemed impossible to me at the time, but downright ugly. And yet, one day at a time, here I am today talking to you on this podcast, 11 years sober. Such is the power of chunking down an intention to only what can be done in the 24 hours of the day. Dale Carnegie, that's the same author who wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People, wrote in a lesser known book titled How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, quote, Live life in day-type compartments, end quote. Again, it means exactly what we would think it means. I like that little phrase that goes, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, all I have is today. You know, worrying is really nothing else but living tomorrow's possible problems today, as if they're already here. When we think of it like that, worry is just plain silly. But what about the chessboard my friend mentioned, the serenity in 64 squares? I love that because it's a perfect metaphor and because chess is a terrific pattern interrupt when all you've got going through your mind is worry, stress and suffering. Look, if I'd never been through worry, stress and suffering myself, I would have no moral right to be prattling on to you in this podcast. Fact is, I have been through it and I've come through on the other side. 
knowing what it's like to have serenity in my life. I don't know if you've ever played chess before, but for the uninitiated, it's a board game played by only two players. The board having 64 squares, commonly 32 black and 32 white, with the name of the game being to checkmate your opponent. In other words, bring your opponent to a point in the game when they cannot make their next move without losing the game. The pieces used in the game can be moved on the board one piece at a time, and each piece has its own power to be able to move a certain number of squares at a time, and in some cases in a certain direction, vertically, horizontally, and also diagonally. But the thing about the game of chess is this, it can only be played one move at a time. The masters of chess are known for planning the possible moves of a game in advance, much the same as we might plan our moves in relation to an intention to get life back on track. But, and this is a huge but, no matter how good the chess master is at predicting the potential future moves of the game, he or she cannot know for certain how the game will play out because it can only be played one move at a time. Get your life back on track one day at a time. Inch by inch and anything is a cinch. A journey of one mile begins with the first step. I could go on, but you get my drift, right? You can come back from any setback. You really can. Not only come back, but create a life better than it's ever been before. Now, I don't just believe that, I know it, for I am your living proof. Play your comeback one day at a time, one move at a time. Let tomorrow take care of itself, but do make your move today. You've got to take real action every day, one move at a time, just like in chess on those 64 squares. This is Mike Searles, the Comeback Coach and founder of Serenity Life Hub, on a mission to help more than 100,000 people come back from setbacks to a life with more serenity and less stress. And thank you for listening.